Spore is ready. 2-2 pitch. Strike three call. And the Texas Rangers race onto the field to celebrate a world championship. They win all three games here in Phoenix to win this World Series 2023. Four games to one. That's a happy crew out there. They've run in for the bullpen already to begin their celebration. And you got to credit Bruce Bochy, his coaching staff in this ball club, for winning two ball games here, Candy, the last two of this series in Phoenix, as they played without one of their better players, Adolis Garcia. Well, partner, it's been fun. It's been 18 years of uh, business up here, but it's been uh, baseball business, and sure couldn't have done it without you. And uh, I'm ending things here tonight, and uh, it's a little bit tough, but at the same time, hey, we got a free ride watching the World Series, getting uh, five games in, and uh, I'm going to miss you. I know you're going to continue on and uh, help these Diamondbacks uh, go through some successful seasons. It's a bright future these guys have got. Well, we're going to miss you, all of us, for sure. And it's, it's been, for 18 years, it's been a blast. Yeah. So it's we're going to miss your voice. you got to come by. Well, I'll come by. If they ask me to come by, I'll come by, and right. uh, we'll have some fun. I'm going to come back and wrap things up. World Series goes to the Texas Rangers. Our congratulations to Bruce Bochy and his outstanding ball club. Again, they did this. They were 11-0 on the road, only 2-4 and at home. But they are the 2023 World Series champions as they beat the Diamondbacks here tonight by a final score of 5 to nothing, I'll be back to wrap things up in a moment on the D-backs Radio Network. As for me, this is it. 26 seasons of amazing baseball with this organization, including a World Series championship in 2001, only four short years after the D-backs played their very first game in 1998. How thrilling for me to get back to the World Series in my final season calling Diamondbacks baseball. I want to thank Jerry Colangelo and Rich Dozier, who were there. At the beginning, Jerry knew my desire to broadcast baseball and gave me that chance. To Ken Kendrick and Derek Hall, who have been great to me over the years, I thank them along with Scott Geyer for honoring me with the Greg Schulte radio booth. That Friday, October 29th, was a bit overwhelming for myself and my family. To all of my partners over the years on radio and television, the production people who I've become good friends with, to the many workers at Chase Field, I'll miss your smiling faces and our conversations. To our fans who have been so kind to me over the 26 seasons. And to all of our loyal listeners on KTAR and our Diamondbacks radio network around the state. Thank you for being with us, many from day one. To my family, my wife Nancy, we celebrate our 50th anniversary in two weeks. She's been great over all the years. Getting our children, Scott and Stephanie, to all of their school events. Taking care of everything at home. While I was on road trips all around the country. And never once did she complain. She'll have me around the house all the time now. And I think she may wish I was still doing ball games. <laughs> anyway, our grown children, Scott and Stephanie, I thank you for understanding their jobs, uh, dad's jobs and their, my travels as they were growing up. Finally, to the guys in the booth here. Chris Garazziola, I just shake my head when he tells me he was six years old when I broadcast my first Diamondbacks game. He got pushed into the role of traveling and doing all road games his very first season. He's been terrific. Leo Gilmartin, who Leo's been with me from day one. He took over the radio producer engineer role in 2001. I'll miss his hello, Mr. Schulte, as I enter the radio booth to prepare for a radio broadcast each day. And to Tom Candiotti, my partner since 2006, 18 years. We've become very close friends. So many meals, plane rides, buses to and from the ballparks and the airports hanging together on the road over the years. He's been the best partner any radio play-by-play -play announcer could ask for. The good thing is we'll stay in touch. We'll get together for lunch or dinner, and we'll make fantasy football trades. We've become lifetime friends. Thank you all. It's been my privilege and honor to be the voice of the Arizona Diamondbacks since day one, 26 seasons, almost 4,000 games. You'll see Nancy me at the ballpark from time to time as years go on. Please stop and say hello. There's a saying, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Right now, there's a little bit of both for me. And so one last time, for Leo Gilmartin, for Chris Garaziola, for Tom Candiotti, I'm Greg Schulte. We say so long for now. Thank you for listening to Arizona Diamondbacks Baseball 